Hello humans, welcome back to Michigan Farms. So you can see that we are still in June um, and what we are going to do today is get this trailer filled up with some silage. We have the silo here that has been producing silage for us. We are going to get this filled up and the reason why is we need to buy some sort of trailer that can handle our slurry. So we'll need to get a slurry um, container as well as some sort of vehicle trailer that is going to be able to handle our milk. So we are going to try to be getting this MKS 32. Uh, we want to be able to pull um, this with our truck. That was the whole reason that we bought the truck. So we're going to be looking to bring one of those in. Then we also need a slurry tank. So um, there's a couple different options here. Uh, but as you can see, we only have $57,000 in the bank. Um, so like I've always said, we have the silage if we ever need to dip into it to bring a little influx of cash to the farm. Uh, we would normally wait until a harvest, harvest that up, um, and then bring in the money from that. But for right now, um, we don't have any fields that are ready to be harvested. So we are gonna be dipping into that silage and getting that sold off. So um, you can see we've got 51,000 liters here in the trailer, in the Roland, and we are gonna make our way up to the sell point sell off this silage and bring in a little bit of money to the farm and then we will go shopping all right we have made our way up to the biogas plant and we are going to get this silage offloaded i am unsure how much they are going to take if they're going to take the entire amount um, or just a portion of it so we are going to get backed up over here and start to unload it. We are at the biogas plant because they are paying the most for silage right now. Um, it is by no means the best price that it can be. I'll jump into the menu before unloading here and show you what I mean. Um, so you can see biogas plant 292. If they don't take it all, we can move on to um, the farmer's market and uh, sell the rest of it there. Uh, but you can see that 342 is what we could be getting. Um, but you know, here in June, we are almost at the worst price down at 275. Um, but again, we are selling this just to bring in a little bit of extra cash. Um, so we will take what we can get. So there we go. Offloading silage, bringing in some money to the farm, which is great. So it does look like they're taking the bulk of the silage, which is great. Will they take all of it? They have. Okay, so um, it looks like that was only $14,913. Um, so that wasn't as much as I thought it necessarily was going to be, but that is totally fine. That is going to give us enough money to buy the milk tanker um, so what i'm actually going to do is jump into the menu and send this back to the farm um, so we'll jump in here create job we want to have them go to the farm so we'll have them drive down here start that job and then what we are going to do is jump into our mac truck here and get up to the store and purchase ourselves that milk tanker so that we can unload the milk from our cow pen here and bring in some additional money to the farm that way so i will see you up at the store all right here we are up at the store so let's go ahead and jump into the menu here and what we want to grab is, I believe, in animals. And we want to grab this large MKS 32. Pull, you can see, can kind of carry a lot of stuff here. Milk, water, uh, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide, which is great. But we probably will use this just for milk. So main color, um, I think we're just going to leave it stainless. So let's leave it stainless steel. 
Um, we'll do Chrome there, no license plate. So we're gonna go ahead and buy that for 68,000. Um, that does bring us all the way down to $4,610, um, but that is fine. We are in a really great spot on the farm. We have most of the vehicles that we need. Um, so although we only have $4,000 in the bank, we have some harvests coming up. Oh, didn't do that well. Uh, have some harvest coming up, so we should have an influx of cash coming um, in that way here in a few episodes time. Uh, we also have all that remaining silage that we could um, continue to sell off if we really got into a sticky situation, but uh, never thought I'd see the bank account this low after um, how much money we brought in there at the beginning of the series with the sugar beet harvest. Um, but that is quite all right. I think that we've spent our money wisely. We've got uh, both cows and chickens on the farm now. We have crops in the ground that are going to be coming up for harvest here in a little bit which will be great uh, for us to bring that money back in. And now we have this wonderful tanker here that's going to allow us to sell the milk that our cows are producing. Um, so that will also bring us some money back into the farm's account. Um, so we're going to get back to the farm and get this loaded up with all of the milk that our cows have produced. All right, here we are back at the farm. You can see that we've added a few driveways into our animal area here since we've kind of expanded this area. Um, I'm hoping to bring in a yard type feel to this area of the map here. I'm probably going to add some sheds over here. As you can see, we're accumulating quite the amount of equipment that is being used for our, our wonderful cows and chickens here, mostly the cows, um, but let's get, can we back up here and then get loaded from here? Yes, we are able to do that. So as this fills, uh, yeah, I think somewhere in this area over by the chickens, we'll add some sort of shed, um, maybe we'll widen this entryway here that pole is not in a great spot as you saw when we pulled in um, but it's going to work for now so we have gotten this tanker full we've pulled all of the milk out we have 12,868 liters um, also noticing that it does look like the grass is ready to harvest which is great so we can do some grass cutting here after we get this sold off um, which will be a great way to end June. Um, we, like you can see here, we don't have anything ready to harvest. Our canola is looking great. Uh, maybe a month or two until that is ready to harvest. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this milk sold off and then we'll make our way back to the farm and deal with that grass and get that all cut. All right, there is the dairy up to the right. We are going to get pulled in there and get this milk sold off. Hopefully we'll bring in a decent amount. Obviously with only 40% in the tanker here, um, we are not going to make all the money back that it costs to buy it. But let's see what we can bring in. All right, a decent amount. So there you go, $15,000 worth of milk. Um, so I do definitely want to start into productions on this map. Um, we definitely don't want to just do field work. I think uh, doing some productions would be great. And since we have the cows, I think the dairy would be a great one for us to invest in. Um, and that's not that expensive. I thought it was going to be more than that, but it's only $70,000 for us to own the dairy. So maybe after harvest, we will invest in the dairy and start with our first productions. Uh, I think that sounds like a really great idea. But for now, we're going to get back to the farm and deal with that grass field. All right, so back at the farm, we need to find a spot for this tanker to live. I think we will just get pulled in here and park it up along the fence of the cows. 
give them something nice and shiny to look at. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that put right there. Get unattached from that, and we'll go and pull this back into our garage here. Looks like the worker left that in a pretty precarious spot. So we will go and get that John Deere moved with the trailer on it. We definitely don't want to be leaving that there. Surprised we haven't caused any accidents or had any traffic waiting for us. So let's go ahead and just pull that stuff in here. Looks like we've got some space. We are going to need that combine next time, but for the time being, we'll just park that there. All right, well, let's see. We might need the windrower. We don't need the cedar. That tank looks great. I'm glad in the colors that we chose to go with. We've got our tether. And all right, where where are our mowers? Do we not own any mowers? Did I have to borrow those last time? And if that's the case, then do we have enough money to do grass work? So that's the cedar. Okay, okay, there's all of that. Oh, nope, they are in the other shed. Um, and I think I actually have to use the John Deere. I'm not sure if the new Holland can run it. So we will just get that dropped off there. And since I remembered where the mowers are, we will go and get those picked up get those attached and then make our way over to the grass field we do have all of this grass here but that does not actually cut um, when you cut it it just disappears it does not uh, create any usable grass so it's a little bit of a waste of space but i think that we can find a use for it in the future maybe some sort of production maybe some more animals um, in the future we will definitely have to see but that is a nice large usable space that we are not currently using um why am i getting stuck here i know the mowers on there but i don't think it's that wide all right there we go so let's go ahead and get attached to the rear mower and then like i said we'll make our way across the street and deal with that grass it is only 50 percent fertilized as we found out in one of the recent episodes and that is quite all right. I think we will still get a decent amount of grass off of the field, even with it being just 50% fertilized. So we do have this grass here, which I think we will replace just with like prairie grass in the near future. I don't think that we want to continue to deal with just this one strip of grass right here. So um, that'll probably be something that we do in the near future, but as it is here, we definitely want to take advantage of it probably one last time, get this all cut here, and then make our way to the actual grass field over here. Um, remember, this all used to be a part of a large grass field, but as we've expanded and brought some more animals onto the farm, we have... Uh, kind of lost out on some of that grass, which is quite all right. Um, we are still left with, as you can see, quite the large grass land here. Um, so we should be able to still get quite a bit of grass off the field. Um, but we are going to attack the field here. Should be a quick job. And then we will have the tough decision of figuring out what we want to do with this grass. Do we want to tet it and have hay? Do we want to windrow it up and bale it? Do we want to just pick it up and put it into the silage silo? We have quite a few options here. Um, so we are going to just jump into the mowing and get this field taken care of, and then we will make that decision once we are done.
that is this grass field almost completely cut. I think we might have one more pass down the field to get this completed. So you saw in the time lapse how long it took us to get this done. So I am no longer concerned about us not having enough grass to cut as we continue to expand the farm. I think that this field is large enough. The one thing I will say about this field is now that we have the chickens in here, there are a few odd corners and odd bits of the field, like that one right here in front of us that you can see. Um, we are not going to cut that just because I don't know how it would work out with the wind rower trying to get into that space and um, make a row that makes sense. So we are going to zip down this last little piece here and take care of that. And that'll be the grass completely mowed. So while we were mowing, we were having some internal conversations about what we wanted to do with this. And I think the best bet is to get the tether out and ted this up and turn it into hay. Uh, that way we can use it in the TMR mixer. And that is going to give us all the ingredients that we need for TMR. So we're going to go ahead and get these... Uh, mowers here all taken care of we're gonna get them folded up and uh, put back into the shed where we got them from and then we will grab our tether which i can see is also in this shed just on the opposite side and we will get back into that field and get it tethered up and turned into hay so let's get these put away i feel like i put the mowers in a different spot every single time that I'm done with them. So let's go ahead and get that unattached. And then we will back up here. Nope. Okay, I did not want to do that. So we'll get that dropped off. And can we sneak through? Nope, we have blocked ourselves in. So we'll go around, we'll grab the tether, and we'll head back into that grass field. But we are in a really great place it was good to be able to bring some additional money back onto the farm after spending it down to four thousand dollars earlier um, so we're gonna need both of these pieces of equipment um, so let's go ahead and get the baler out of the way if we can because we need to get the tether that is behind it but we also are going to need the baler all right, now I've put myself in a wonderful spot here. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and figure our way out of this and get this put over into the field. All right, so after some struggling there, we were able to get both the baler and the tether out of that shed, and we are going to get this unfolded and start to get this field tedded up. Um, you can see, oh, I was gonna say, you can see how large of a working width our tether has. Um, it's actually larger than that little spot right there. So um, we will figure that out um, some with something different because we obviously can't fit our tether in there. So that little portion might just be SOL. I think we may have just lost out on a little bit of grass there, um, which is totally fine. I guess I could back into it later, but um, don't want to mess with that right now. We want to get working in this large field and getting this all turned over from grass into hay. So here we go. We're going to start tedding the field. This should be a much quicker process than cutting the grass was because this working width is so much larger so we are going to get all of this grass tedded up and turned into hay
here we go. We are wrapping up the last of the tedding here. You can see that we have a little bit left of grass here and there. You also saw that we took out one of the traffic signs during that time lapse, but we were able to knock out this field rather quickly. So we've got it all mowed up and now we've got it all tedded up and turned into hay. So that is this field officially taken care of. A nice productive June afternoon getting all of that taken care of. So we're going to go ahead and get that all folded up here, but I think that is where we're going to end the episode. Next time we will get this all windrowed up and put into rows and then we will bale it up and probably progress on to August and hopefully have some harvesting to do. As always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time on our Michigan farm.